all my fight fans. We had a boxing fight this Saturday. We had Loma Chaco taking on George Gambosas. And it was actually a very exciting fight. You know, it was actually a very exciting fight between two really good lightweights, two former um, undisputed champions. Um, at the end of the day, the Vasily Lomachenko pretty much got that victory. He looked really, really good. You know, normally Lomachenko takes a little longer to start. Lomachenko likes to take off the first couple of rounds. But this time he was on point. You know, he was able to utilize his footwork, his beautiful footwork, um, utilize that hand speed. He just, he pretty much was on point the entire night. You know, George Gamposas was tough though. Don't don't count him out. He was a really tough fighter. I honestly felt like maybe Vasily Lomachenko was gonna be a little too much for him. But no, he proved me wrong. George Gamposas was able to hang in there. He was getting uh, picked apart here and there. His face was getting all bloodied up, but still, you can't can't deny the heart of George Gamposas. You know, he's a beast. He's a beast. I'm sure he's going to have some very fun, tough fights. But at the end of the day, Lomachenko pretty much looked like the Lomachenko of old. You know, a lot of people said that he was older. A lot of people say that he was going to get a lot slower, that his reflexes were going to go. There was just so much saying about this fight. And this was pretty much um, a test to Lomachenko to see where he's at. Is he still that Lomachenko, the one that was pretty much ruling the lightweight divisions, that was ruling the, the junior lightweight division and such like that? Or was he a little bit past his prime? You know, a lot of us feel like he should have won that Devin Haney fight. That was a very close fight. Very, very close. It could have gone either way. I could have very much um, loved to seen a rematch between these two guys, but we already know Devin Haney has moved on up um, to the junior welterweights, and I'm sure moving up further on. But he's still in a division where there are still a lot of notable names, such as Shakur Stevenson, who is a beast of a fighter. You know, he is definitely, definitely somebody that I would be very interested to see Shakur Stevenson and Vasily Lomachenko go against. Or, of course, we have the big star in the lightweight division, Javante Tank Davis. I mean, come on, what, what, what more can we ask for? We've always wanted to see Javante Tank Davis take on the top five of the lightweight division back when we had Ryan Garcia, which he did fight and he did beat. Granted, that's 100% credit to him. But you had Teofimo Lopez. Again, you had Devin Hanley. You had Lomachenko. Now you have Shakur Stevenson. So you have all these great fighters that we have not yet seen Javante fight yet. And we hope to see him fight, especially a Shakur Stevenson or Lomachenko. So that would be very fun. There's, you know, quite a few good names in the lightweight division for him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. I'm very much looking forward to seeing Lomachenko in the ring with one of these guys whoever it may be because he is a very very fun fighter to see he's very exciting you know um i love his technique i love his footwork i love his hand speed the guy is just all around a great boxer 100 percent. so guys let's um let's give a big round of applause for lomachenko um let me know what you thought about the fight regarding lomachenko regarding george gamposas let me know um what you thought of uh, who you think is going to be next for Lomachenko because hey at the end of the day it really looks like he can really compete with any one of these guys so let me know in the comments guys like subscribe hit that notification button and I'll see you guys in the next video